Well, this is a special treat for today. This is a Vespa, but it's been um, put back together in Vietnam. And you can see what a beauty this is. Um, for somebody on a budget, you can get a Vespa clone out of Vietnam. And uh, to the ordinary eye, you wouldn't be able to tell that this Piaggio came from uh, Vietnam, but there's a growing market of uh, Vietnamese exports. But you can see certain things like the seat and the headlamp. Um, it's a combination of two or three different bikes, and then you get, it's got a paint job, and they do the best they can, obviously. But you know what, for decor, or to just ride out into the street, it's not a bad idea. Um, if you can get one at half the price, uh, I know I'm not, I'm not into buying too many vintage bikes, um, but from what I've seen, the market has really, really changed with the introduction of so many new bikes from Vietnam. So it's a sweet bike, it runs four speed, and um, just make sure you don't hit the, uh, the front brake if it's your first time riding. That's my only advice. But uh, the seats, uh, good recreation. I like what they've done. I mean, um, and to the average eye, uh, it's going to look perfect. But to a collector, this would not be so perfect. But again, if you've never really owned one to begin with, um, if you're somebody in your 20s or 30s and you weren't around when the uh, originals came out, um, you're really not going to notice too much. Um, if you're just buying it as a centerpiece for a restaurant or to have and, and ride around on the weekends. Um, but yeah, be on the lookout. There's uh, quite a few people importing these now and it's uh, pretty interesting to see the, the Vespa amalgams coming out of Vietnam like this one.